Yeah. What's happening, y'all? No. <laughs> okay, it's all good. <laughs> I want to be a revolutionary. I um I dream about it. <laughs> Me and my ten point plan in a leather jacket, a Fidel Castro hat from H&M, <laughs> and fucking, fucking army fatigue, hipster tight emo pants. <laughs> yeah. It turns out revolution can take many forms, meaning to be a revolutionary, I must first choose a cause to fight for. And that can be something like shopping for shampoo. <laughs> I have many options and brand loyalty is involved. <laughs> now, if you will, I would like you to, to imagine that we are walking through my former campus. I went to UC Berkeley, hotbed for political activism, blah, 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 Center for All Things Alternative, so on and so forth, right? And I, I, I would like you to imagine me imagining a fucking battle royale. <laughs> <laughs> or better yet, uh, a Pokemon style fight with Pikachu. <laughs> Between who shall henceforth be referred to as the environmentalists, the Cesar Chavezians, the Che shirt wearers, the white black panthers, and the old Chinese guy. I want you to imagine chaos. And I'm talking picket signs and bullhorns and street chalk and pamphlets and Starbucks coffee cups everywhere. <laughs> it begins. Berkeley's infamous tree-hugging hippies approach me with a clipboard and say, Yeah, you care about babies dying? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, it snowed in Saudi Arabia. Owls are in danger, man. Stop driving inside this petition and wear our sticker. <laughs> but before I could express my confusion, the Cesar Chavezians immediately responded just like, how about we address the Chilean grapes you environmentalists love to eat? How about we address labor rights before saving spotted owls and converting to tofu chocolate gringo? <laughs> Stop buying foods on this petition and wear our sticker. But before I could express my confusion at why a white guy would say gringo, the chase shirt wearers jump in it all dramatically like, nah man, American imperialism is the problem. <laughs> Hedonistic consumerism, rapacious capitalism is the problemism, white supremacism is the problem. Stop buying clothes on this petition and wear our sticker. But before I can ask what that has to do with Shay's political ideology, BAM! By any means necessary, the residues of the Black Panther Party committed to armed revolution and black nationalism, who also happen to be white, shallow feminists, and long-winded say, nah, put your fist up, deconstruct male privilege, not the gentrification of West Oakland, no blood for oils, not the tradition of wear our sticker. Then, the old Chinese guy who's been standing on that creek for seven amazing hours holding a big fuck bush sign still says, happy, 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 and I, I can't take it. I don't know which one of these motherfuckers to choose. So I run. <laughs> Oddly, finding solace with the trust of our eyes. A swarm of dirty blonde dreadlocks and bare feet. They pass me a blunt laced with hashish. <laughs> and say nothing. I want to be a revolutionary. But now, I'm high. <laughs> and tripping balls. <laughs> and all I can think about 
is what it would be like to have sex with Britney Spears. <laughs> Bald. <laughs> Her soft, smooth, bald head against my soft, smooth, bald head. come to and sober up turns out to be a revolutionary. I can no longer drive a car, buy fruit or food, live in West Oakland or wear clothes. Fortunately, I'm covered in stickers. Unfortunately, I don't feel like a revolutionary yet, just on overload. I can't, I can't digest the layers and layers of reasons for me to be angry. What it means for me to buy fruit or food or shoes on top of wanting to buy stuff, on top of being broke and perpetually in debt before the recession, on top of American militarism and white supremacist capitalist patriarchy, on top of the irony of Americans treating our first black president like he's the last chapter in Black History Month, on top of the disposable quality of black life, on top of all my dudes in prison, on top of melting polar ice caps and dying fishes, on top of an inconceivable scale of violence in Iraq, India, Darfur, Afghanistan, on the West Bank, in West Oakland, and too many other places to name on top of me thinking about Britney Spears. <laughs> I mean, how can I have enough rage for it all when all I've inherited as an American is the nuclear bomb in a prison industrial complex? When my thoughts constantly interrupt my thoughts to the point where at the end of the day somehow I'm some, some incense burning Jay shirt wearing even though I've never read the autobiography of Jay self-proclaimed progressive liberal postmodern pan-African pro-black venti soy double karma macchiato radical neo of hazelnut. <laughs> you can't cherry pick a cause to fight for out of the door jam of shit that needs to be changed. I mean, the different reasons for why the world is so fucked up fight for space in my brain, and it feels like we are on a sinking Titanic of American foreign policy, and I can't help but watch Leo and Kate kiss. <laughs> or stop making bad pop references. <laughs> I want to be a revolutionary, but I don't know what that means. I have the aesthetic down, but not the means. I mean, it seems the revolution, the all-encompassing, enigmatic, undying cause, the cause itself has struck me actionless. <laughs> Illiteracy.